My friends at CSIRO have invited me to somewhere very special. Today I'm not just hanging with nerds, I'm hanging with nerds at the Australian Centre for Disease Preparedness. Now this place is incredible. It is a high tech, very high security facility because they deal every day with the world's most deadly and, and transmissible diseases to learn more and more about them. Before I'm allowed anywhere near the inside of the building, there's a little bit of training to get done. G'day, Deb. Hi, mate. I am so excited. All right, what do I need to know? OK, we're going to take you through the secure induction, um, through the props, and then we'll show you the video, and then you've got an assessment to do. Got to do a test? Oh, you sure have. Uh, do I have to ace it? You do. Oh! <laughs> secure area. You must remove all clothing. Training complete. First things first, come with me. I've got to make sure that I take off absolutely everything because whatever goes in can't come out again. So that means that I need to take off all of my clothes. Excuse me. Well, that was a bit of a different experience and uh, <laughs> got some new threads. I want to show you, first of all, what this place is all about. So I need some help. Come in here. Meet Deb. G'day, Deb. Oh, hi, Nate. Welcome into the high buy containment facility. Thank you. Uh, that was a bit of an odd way to come to work in the morning. Absolutely. You have to do that every single day? Yeah, our staff that work here inside the facility, that in the box, in the box, in the box, they have to come in uh, like that every single day, in through a shower, out through a shower in the afternoon. So, where are we now? We're actually in a training laboratory now, so we use this to train all our staff um, to work here inside the laboratory. It's a huge structure. Yeah, I mean, the most exciting thing is it was built 40 years ago, yet it remains absolutely world-class in terms of the biocontainment infrastructure. And the things you're working with in here are pretty serious. So we do both diagnostics and research on both animal diseases and also then zoonotic diseases. That includes avian influenza, includes Hendra virus, which can infect horses and people, uh, Ebola virus as well. As part of CSIRO, one of the really important things for us is around early career research. And so we have lots of both PhD students and postdoc students and other early career researchers who are focused on developing the skills to understand these diseases. Let me introduce you to Jen. Hello, Jen. I understand you're going to help me, well, maybe have a bit of a play, but first of all, I want to know, why do you have to wear these suits? So these suits protect us from the dangerous viruses that we're working with. So this is part of our PPE that we wear every day when we're handling viruses that can infect people. Do you reckon I'd be any good at it? I don't know, let's find can out. Can I have a crack? Yep. Let's get into some. All right, what do we do? So I reckon you should probably go for that one. You put your right foot in. Yep. That was the suit, not me. <laughs> This is not particularly easy. <laughs> What's going on here? Why am I blowing up? Because the suit fills with air, and that's part of how we stop viruses entering into the suit. It's under positive pressure. I've got my own personal air conditioning unit. That's actually kind of quite nice. It's nice. I could do with one of these in the studio. I get pretty sweaty. So who is it that has to wear these suits? Any of our scientists that work at PC4 have to wear these suits, so that's when we're working with the most dangerous viruses. These are thicker than dishwashing gloves. Yep. They're pretty chunky. It's more like gardening gloves. How do you train them? So we do have some games and things that we train with. So we have operation, because it does require some pretty <laughs> fine motor skills. So. Hold on. OK, I can, I can get it. Oh, uh, nice. Oh, well, thank you so much for letting me get in this and have a play. Um, I just now need to figure out how to get out. So to get out of the lab, we've got to have a chemical shower and decontaminate our suits. Here we go. Oh. Make sure all of our underarms and everywhere is covered. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. So now you can unzip if you want and oh. get out of your suit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh. Yep, that's it. <sighs> hey Jen, can I see one of those suits being used in a real PC4 lab? You sure can. Here's our lab here and Sean's in there at the moment working on Hendra virus. <laughs> 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 it's a real scientist. 
Well, I'm all virused out. I'm heading towards the mural sun because that's how you know you're heading towards outside. There's only one more thing I've got to do. Another change of clothing and first a shower. See you on the other side. Oh, hello! Well, that's the first time I've ever had to have a shower to get out of work. Do you want to see it? It's just in there. It's a shower inside an airlock, believe it or not. Well, that was an experience. In fact, this whole day has been a huge, massive new experience. One I'm so excited to have had. Security first. All right, time to bug out. <laughs> bug. Oh, I didn't dry my hair. Oh, damn.